start putting yourself out there on the internet. I have a big blockage there. Okay, perfect. Uh, that's a great question. What's your, well, what's your personal blockage? Because it might be different for different people. So what about for you? What do you think is preventing you from doing that? Mm, I don't know. I just don't like um, putting my comments on there, my personal comments. Um, oh, gosh, there's so much. I just don't like being public. <laughs> mm. I share a lot of things rather than putting my opinions out. Mm. I wonder when... <clears throat> I wonder when you learned that your opinion doesn't deserve to be praised publicly. Okay, and this is a cool thing about like the difference between like Eastern versus Western psychology, where someone like a union analyst might go all the way back to Shel like Shelby when's the uh, first time that you felt like you weren't heard, and or like an Eastern approach would be like, well. Let's put yourself out there now. Let's just do it. For you know, we don't need to dive into the past. The past doesn't need to define you. You can start. start if you want to start putting yourself out there, the, the way I suggest doing it is doing three-minute videos or less that are subject-specific on something that you're passionate about that you don't even have to plan. Like, what could I get you to talk about right now? For, that's specific to a certain subject for one minute to three minutes that you would love talking about? Um, chakras is a really big one. I love learning about the chakras. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now, would you, if you were going to talk about the whole chakra system, would that take, could you, could you give a summary in three minutes? Or do you, what I would encourage you to do is start doing videos on each chakra. Why don't you do a one to three minute video on each chakra? And while you do it, what I would suggest is to have like a crisp lighting, crisp audio, like great audio, great lighting, less than three minutes, subject specific. And that, what I mean by that is you can do one chakra at a time. There are seven different videos. Yeah, that could be doable. If I start planning it in a separate, separate thing, I can do that. Now, this is, where, this is where I think there might be an issue. Don't, why not not plan it? Why not, right when we're done with this video, you do your first one? That, that's my challenge to you. Would you start at the, bottom, the, the root chakra or the crown? Where would you start? Which chakra would you start with? Probably the root one, or maybe the earth, because there's the earth and the, the earth star and the soul star as well. Okay, so this is part of, so is the earth, the would that be technically the first chakra? Yeah. So below the root chakra is the earth chakra. Yeah. See, so you've already taught me something new. Yeah, there's, there's, there's the earth right at the bottom uh, that connects right to the earth, and then above the um, sixth, the seventh chakra, there's the soul star. Well, here's a great video. What about the first chakra that many people don't even know exist? Something along those lines, the first chakra that most people don't know about, or the original chakra that most people don't even realize, something like that, and then make it that video, and this is what I suggest to you, turn the camera on just as if we're doing this quantum consultation, like 11 minute timer, turn your phone on, three minute timer, and dive as deep as possible with as, as much edutainment, meaning education and entertaining about the earth chakra, and then do one every day for the next, until you get all 12 chakras. This is the issue with why, this is where I could see it not working out for you. If you start wanting to be perfect, and if you start planning it too much, this is where people fall for the trap of letting perfection get in the way of accomplishment. Yeah, this is the difference between thinking your way around something and feeling your way right through it. So, I would, your iPhone's good enough. Are you on an iPhone right now? So make sure the lighting is nice and crisp and clean on your face so we can like see every little wrinkle, your eyes. Because what's most personal is most universal, and that's what's going to connect people when they can see you, when they see what you look like. You're, they see you're not, they not only hear what you're saying, they can see what you're not saying. Yeah. That's important. Then make sure the audio, the same thing, like the audio is so good that even if they weren't watching you, they could hear it clearly. And I think the iPhone, as long as you're in a quiet room with good lighting, that's easy. And that, now this could be the more challenging part, is keeping it like one take less than three minutes. 
one take in less than three minutes and then the pressing the upload button. That's where most people will get hung up because then they'll start. Once I, once I start, I'll start waffling and you won't shut me up. Well, there you go. And that's why these creative constraints, uh, honestly, like, <sighs> creative constraints is like a distillation um, rather than the dilution. So if I gave you two hours to talk about sh uh, the Earth Shocker, I bet you could. You might be able to, you might be able to, but the thing is if I only give you three minutes, we're gonna get, we're gonna distill out some potency. We're gonna do, and, and the more you do that, the more potent it's gonna get. And it's not, it's not like practice, <laughs> yeah. This is actually, Deanna, the other night, she told me, she's like, she said that everything's becoming TV shows. And I was realizing, I would have never watched um, Stranger Things if it was an, if it was like four four hour movies. I would have never watched that. I and I haven't watched Lord of the Rings probably for the same reason. But now I'm gonna watch Lord of the Rings as it's a TV show. I'll give myself permission to watch it in 30 minute intervals rather than thinking I have to commit to two hours. And this is why Netflix is so dialed in. They are so genius that they are turning because they're giving it people in small doses, like the minimum effective dose in these 30 to 50 minute intervals, they're getting people to watch like 40 hour movies. <laughs> and they're calling them TV shows. I get that. So this is why I, I, want, I want your edutainment about chakras, for, I want the world to experience that and I want you to experience giving that to the world. So I think breaking them up in three minute intervals, tw uh, 12 different three minute episodes, Without planning it, pff, that's a strong start. I, I feel like that is our quantum consultation. Like if you, when you do that, I think we're all, everyone's gonna be happier. Yeah, definitely. It's just I've been, I set up a YouTube channel for been God, years ago. I set up a private Facebook page so I could post stuff privately without people knowing it was me. Because I feel judged from that, thinking I can't let people know what I know, and I don't know. And that's the other part. That's the part where maybe a psychoanalyst, like no, I'm not saying going to visit a psychoanalyst, but you maybe analyzing yourself, like where in the heavens did you get your, the idea? Like think about your little child there. I trust you'll never want your child to think that they are not supposed to share their opinion, right? So start teaching her now by you doing it first. I want you, I want you to teach them by living it. I want you, if you want your opinion to be heard, share your opinion. Well, that, I think that's along, regardless of the, like, the quality of our uh, internet connection, what I'm saying I think is profound. Like, you putting yourself out there is going to, in my opinion, give profound benefits to you and to everyone else and to your children. So can I get you, I don't know how much time we have here. Let me see my timer. Oh, we have one minute and 11 seconds, the 111 minute, right when I looked at that. So are you going to do the video after this? Uh, can you upload it by tomorrow so I can see it on your Facebook page? Yeah, I'll have a look. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just check in because I've not used it for so long, my YouTube thing. I'll check in with my password and then, yeah, I'll get on with it. Okay, all right. So you'll get, the, you'll get it to YouTube by tomorrow? Yeah. All right, send me a link to that. I want to see that. And this right here, having a friend hold you accountable, having a friend holding me accountable, that's also super profound. To getting stuff done, and I, 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 it's time for it's time for you to. It sounds like you've been a lot of time holding, like making this gift more valuable and understanding the perspective. It's time to start sharing it, and then I think you'll understand it even more because the best way, in my opinion, of learning is leading, is teaching. The top of the learning pyramid is teaching something. If someone can teach something, then they've mastered it. Listening is like the, the bottom level of the learning pyramid, Just solely listening, but being able to experience something and then offer that experience in your own way about the chakras through a video, that'll be shocking and in the chakra type of way.